to YouTube. I'm here in New York City. Um, I had an audition last week for a designer for a photo shoot that's going to be published, and there's going to be a little bio on me um, in the publication. Sorry, I'm all sickly. It's pretty cold. Um, but I had some time before the shoot, um, so I figured I would sit down and talk to you guys. So, um, yeah, I'm in New York. Wow, actually, it's really cool behind me. It's such a good spot. Um, can you see that one? Can you even see it? <laughs> okay, so it is January 15th? 14th? I don't know, somewhere around there, I believe. Which is freaking crazy that it's already halfway through January. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about was post-holiday, I don't want to call it depression, but kind of like that post-holiday motivation. And um, you know, this is a really, really hard time of year for people to stay on track, to get back on track if they've fallen off, uh, including myself. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about what I do to get back on track, what helps me, um, my way of setting goals, and that maybe that will help you guys in setting your own goals. So um, obviously everyone, well not everyone, but a lot of people make New Year's resolutions and January 1st is a time where a lot of people decide, you know, new year to me, like I'm going to change these things about myself, I'm going to improve my life in this way, I'm going to improve my body, my mind, my whatever in this way. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to tell, so I wanted to tell you guys what my New Year's resolutions are and I do believe in them and I do do them, although it doesn't mean that you can't work on yourself any other time the year so um hold on let's put some gloves on it's freezing i think it's like 30 degrees right now maybe i don't know but um so every year i make a mind body and spirit resolution and what that means is i do three separate well it's like 100 separate but <laughs> i try to categorize it in three different ways three main things to focus on uh, a little, little drizzle there <laughs> Um, so first, my mind, my mind resolution is to complain less. And you know, what I mean by that is not just like out loud, but in my head, you know. Oh, my train late is late. Oh, it's cold out. Oh, I stubbed my toe or whatever. Um, so that is my mind resolution is to complain less and more so look at more and focus more on the positives in my life. My body one is to, I kind of have two, one is kind of like nutrition and one is like uh, working out. And my first is to eat vegetables every day. Um, I don't know what you guys know, but I hate vegetables. I don't, I don't, I don't hate them, but like, I don't like them. <laughs> um, so, but they're so freaking good for you. And I highly suggest consuming them every single day. Um, so that's another one of my resolutions for my body. And then the other one for my body is to go to hot yoga once a month. Um, yoga is something I don't like. <laughs> um, I've actually made the same resolution for the past few years to go to yoga once a week. And I just haven't followed through on it. And it's something that's really good for you mentally and for your body to be stretched and I am stretching a lot more but yoga just it's better for your stretching <laughs> and hot yoga more specifically it's, I like it because it's more intense um if you guys don't know what hot yoga is it's also known as Bikram yoga and what it is they turn the temperature up in the room I think it's like 120 degrees 125 degrees or something like that um but and then you do yoga for 90 minutes. So it is very intense, it's very long. Um, and once you leave the classroom, you can't come back. So if you get too hot or too tired, most people just lay down during the middle of the class um, on the floor and you know, kind of compose themselves and get back up. As the only yoga I've found myself to enjoy because I don't know, I just don't like holding poses. Even when I work out, I don't like doing exercises like planks and wall sits and I just am bored and I want to be moving, I want to be sweating, I want to be working. So that is my body, so we got mind, body, and spirit. Um, spirit, I want to pray every day. Um, I used to go to church all the time with my family and over the last few years I've kind of lost that and I really do want to... <laughs> 
I really do want to find that connection again. Um, so those are my three main resolutions. Um, I would love to hear your guys if you comment below. I'd love to hear your resolutions or what you're working towards in 2017. Okay, so resolutions aside, let's talk about goals. So, you know, it's cold. Well, I don't know where you guys are, but it's freaking cold here. And I hate the cold, as you guys know. Um, it's cold, it's, you know, it's gray, it's, there's nothing to look forward to really right now. Um, you know, there's no holiday, I mean, there's Valentine's Day, which is my favorite holiday. Um, but you know, there's no, all holidays are over, you know, it's just nothing really to look forward to right now. It's just kind of like the dreary months of the year. And it's really, really hard because a lot of times when you do holiday parties, you have New Year's, you have everything where you're eating all this crap and you're and you're indulging and you're drinking and you're having a great time and you know what don't don't stop doing those things you know enjoy your time with your friends enjoy your time with your family the holidays are meant to be enjoyed um now there are definitely different levels of indulgence and those are kind of the things that you have to be aware of the last few years i have gotten better and better at controlling myself during the holidays um, but you know, it's always going to be there. You're, you're almost always going to gain some holiday weight. Um, I did, whatever. I'm working on working it off right now. Um, but you know, it's actually been really hard for me to get back on track. Not with the gym. Um, I've been great, you know, getting back into the gym and going six days a week. Um, but my eating, I'm having such a hard time, you know, getting back on track. And I'm trying to, you know, think about like, why? Why is it so hard? The reason it's hard is because. A lot of times during the holidays, we're indulging in, you know, holiday cookies, holiday treats, holiday candies and chocolate, and all the goodness of them. Um, sugar actually is scientifically proven to be addicting. And as in any kind of drug or you know, cigarettes or, you know, alcohol, anything like that, um, sugar is actually addicting. And so, you know, the more of it that you eat, the more your body craves it. And so the more you've eaten over the holidays, the harder it's going to be to pull yourself away from the sugar. And I know, I mean, I told you guys before, like the two biggest things that are going to cause you to gain weight or prohibit you from losing fat is sugar and alcohol. And those are the two biggest things. So what I say is uh, there's something called dry January. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it's, um, you stop drinking for 30 days. Um, I'm not a big drinker myself, as you guys know, it, it doesn't sit with me very well. <laughs> um, so I'm not drinking at all right now, it's just, no, no, it's just not, it's not worth it because, so when you drink alcohol, you know, people say, oh, we'll just have one, like one's not a big deal. One is a big deal, and here's the reason why. When you consume alcohol, whatever it is in that alcohol, in that alcohol, metabolizes in your body a certain way. What I mean by that, so you're constantly burning fat, um, burning calories, even while you're sleeping. Um, it just, if you are more in shape, then you're burning more. If you have more muscle, you're burning more at rest. And which is why lifting is so important. You know, cardio is important, but so is lifting. And I highly suggest everyone should lift weights. Um, <clears throat> so the reason that, you know, that's great and everything. So you're constantly burning the things. The way that alcohol metabolizes in your body prohibits the natural burning of calories and fat while you're at rest for up to 72 hours. So in essence, if you have one, oh, just one drink or just two drinks, that's still stopping your body from burning those calories in addition to taking in the calories and the fat and the sugars from your alcoholic drink. So while people say, oh, it's this many calories, you know, Blah, blah, blah. It's really the way alcohol reacts in your body. Alcohol is poison. It's a drug. Your body's not meant to consume it. Um, so I'm not going to tell you not to drink, but I guess in my mind, I say, okay, if I have this drink right now, then it could stop my body from burning fat for up to 72 hours. So say you're drinking, you know, twice a week. So you're having a drink on Wednesday and you're having a drink on Saturday. Well, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So you're essentially not burning any calories at rest for a whole week. So what's, it's just, it's not worth it in my opinion. 
so that's my number one suggestion is to stop drinking um and if you can't you know tell yourself i'm gonna have a one i'm gonna drink once a month or that's if you want to drink more than that i'm gonna drink once every other weekend you know, find the other things in your life you like to do besides drink on the weekends because then you wake up hungover and feeling like crap and it wastes your weekend anyway like there's so many better things you can be doing than being hungover and drunk making dumb decisions <laughs> so my second thing is sugar uh maybe this is something you can limit to i will have a sugary treat you know every every saturday or every whatever but once a week indulge in something sugary for me I am a very much all or nothing person, so if I have sugar, it kind of like sets me off from this like frenzy. Um, I love sugar. I love sweet. I always have ever since I was little. Um, so that's been the biggest challenge for me on my fitness journey. So what I need to do is stay completely away from sugar or else I just have no control. So what I'm going to do is starting, well today's Saturday, so starting Monday, I'm taking a sugar detox uh, until Valentine's Day because candy hearts is my favorite candy. Um, oh my god, get that control back, get that, um, get your motivation back. So I found that setting mini goals is the key. So set goals, so I'm going to eat no sugar today, not no sugar today, right? So tomorrow, what's your goal for tomorrow? And you know, when you just say, oh, I'm not gonna eat sugar for the next five months, and I'm, I'm gonna lose this much weight in the next year. It's such a big thing to grasp that it's harder to focus on the bigger goal. And I think the reality is, is you need to be, and me, you need to be making smaller goals, weekly goals, daily goals, and that's, the consistency of that is going to lead you to your results, so. Let me know what your guys' biggest challenges are and I'll let you know like how to work on them. But you know, set those mini goals for yourself and stick to them because no one has to live your life, no one has to live in your body but you. But uh, I need to get to my photo shoot, I'm gonna be late. So I'm gonna try to um, bring you guys along with me in the photo shoot. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out because there's a group of us. So if I can get one of the other girls to tape a little bit of it, I will. And um, yeah, so let me know what your resolutions are. Let me know what your goals are. And if I can help you in any way or um, answer any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so I was not able to get any of the photo shoot filmed. It was actually like really crazy um within the first like like literally five minutes we got kicked out of the hotel we were shooting at um it actually happens a lot during photo shoots um a lot of times you're supposed to go and get permission and go through all this stuff and it's really expensive and whatever so um you just kind of hope for the best a lot of times and you, know, you make do with like what you can have um but yeah we got kicked out of the inside of the hotel so we are running all over the streets, like trying to get shots. Um, my photographer and, and one of my agents actually um, stopped a fire truck in the middle of a side street and asked if me and one of the other models could pose in front of it and he let us. So that was really, really <laughs> exciting and fun. And then it started snowing, so it was just really, really crazy. And we were literally like, me and this girl, we were sharing my jacket. Like she'd take a few shots and throw me the jacket and like, then I go in, throw it to her, and like it was just so crazy. The shoot was like we we're literally running in and out of buildings, like taking pictures. So I'm really sorry that I didn't get it, but next time I will.